This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. All right, so we're here at Lakewood High School at the Colorado Bandmasters Association Conference, and uh, this is the first big event that we've gotten to have since uh, the, the world kind of closed down and it's opening up again, and I thought this would be a great chance to kind of have a conversation and with uh, a well-respected band director, your opinion aside, uh, <laughs> Mr. Pete Taze from Mountain View High School in Loveland, which is the district that uh, my son and uh, happens to go to and is going to be a first grader, so uh, I value Pete's opinion greatly on this because it affects me personally as, you know, I get the inside track is what's going on so enough about me Pete what's going on uh, over the last year and uh, what direction are things going in well it's been really crazy like at Thompson um, we did a lot of different things throughout the pandemic we started fully online for the first quarter and then second quarter was hybrid went back online at Thanksgiving started third quarter online you know and then came back hybrid finished fourth quarter all in person so we've we ran the gamut of, yeah. of everything that was there um, and just because of the way the schedule worked out like my kids um, left band at spring break, much like they did in 2020, and then didn't come back for fourth quarter because of our scheduling issues. So I'll see my kids for the first time on August 2nd. Um, super excited to see them. Uh, my orchestra kids that I see, uh, I got to finish the year with them. So that's more like a normal summer. Yeah. Um, but still, you know, an awkward year when you don't see your kids for half the year and right. um, that kind of thing. But the good news is our district is talking about no masks, no distancing. Um, they haven't said anything about quarantining yet and what the protocols are going to look like for that. So, um, you know, we're still kind of waiting for the county to come up with their um, recommendations yeah. and things like that. They're supposed to come down in the next week or so. Um, but right now it looks like everything's good to go and that we're going to be back uh, in person. My kids keep asking, like, what's band going to look like? What's yeah, orchestra going to look like? So, Are you going to try to do stuff outside, inside? Is it just totally back to normal or is it going to kind of be in deference to what happened, uh, taking a more cautious approach. Yeah, right now we're planning on going back in a pretty typical, I, I don't want to use the normal word, right? Yeah. Because I actually, there's some things about the pandemic that really ch kind of changed some of the way I was teaching, just some some relationship things that I built with my kids that I want to continue and, uh -huh. and change about how I structure my class. But in terms of the physical setup and the timing setup, we're still planning on marching band. We'll be outside part of the time, inside sure. part of the time. Um, you know, we're trying to be cognizant of like, you know, things like sharing food, um, which of course with high school kids, right? Like anytime they share food, somebody's going to get something because they're all drinking out of everybody's Starbucks. And, um, so I was like, maybe this is a good time to stop that trend. Yeah. <laughs> and we all know the negatives of what happened over the last year, two years. Um, were there any positive takeaways, uh, that you're going to you know, carry forward and uh, incorporate? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we... Like I said, we, we built a lot better relationships with our kids um, just because we had the time. You know, the, the, the expectations of, of where the, what they were going to achieve musically was not as high as it normally would in a normal year because I knew I wasn't going to see them as much. Right. So I just tried to, you know, my, my two words for the year were patience and empathy. Yeah, um, good, good words. And that I tried my best to just love my kids for who they were and where they were at the time. And, and I think that I was finding that I was getting really been out of shape with, oh, my band isn't where I really want them to be. My orchestra isn't really where I want them to be. And um, and at this point, it's it's more of, you know, I, I need to love and value them for where they are and who they are and, and just let some of that other stuff go a little bit because they'll achieve more, which is great. Um, and then some technologies, right? Like just some of the recording stuff that we, that we got into, whether that's, you know, the ability to do some podcasting things or, sure. or the ability to do like you know we, we figured out Flipgrid this year which is something we'd never played with and I know a lot of directors knew about Flipgrid before but we didn't and finding out that that really worked for us so just some of those types of things cool well I won't take up any more of your time Pete I know this is a you know the, the social event you see you should go and be social and, lunch, That's all good. and lunch is arriving lunch is arriving so the, the, the time the couldn't have been better so uh, Pete Days Mountain View High School thank you so much for uh, taking the time absolutely man. if you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning we can help reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.